everybody i am going to explain you a very simple experiment on rc low pass and high pass filters so first of all let us look at the basic theory behind the experiment now what you see on the screen is a low pass filter circuit and a high pass filter circuit so both circuits are made up of rc combinations so here we will see this is a low pass filter this is a circuit which allows only lower frequencies to pass through whereas this is a circuit which allows only higher frequencies to pass through therefore the first one is called low pass filter second one is called high pass filter these filter circuits are used in sound systems to separate out sounds of different frequencies just look at the low pass filter circuit here actually the signal is given across the rc combination and the output is taken across the capacitor as the reactance of the capacitor is depending on the frequency for lower frequencies its reactance or the resistance is high therefore whatever the signal that is fed to the circuit is simply taken as the output across the capacitor no signal passes through the capacitor whereas coming to this higher pa high pass filter here the capacitor is here signal is given across the combination of rc whereas the output is taken across the resistor so for lower frequencies impedance or reactance of this capacitance is very high so signal cannot pass through whereas higher frequencies since the resistance is low signal passes through the capacitor and you get you get the enough voltage at the output terminal having understood the basic theory behind the filter circuits now we will look into the actual experimental circuit so what you have here is a, an rc combination see this is the resistor this is the capacitor of particular values now this rc combination can be used as a low pass filter or high pass filter depending on how you take the output now first we will take up the low pass filter concept so here the signal from the signal generator normally the ac source is given across the combination and the output is taken across the capacitor now we shall see how to build up the circuit of course the circuit is very simple but anyway so just to build up the circuit from one end of the source you have to give the connection to the resistor in this manner and from other end of the source you have to give the connection to the other end of the capacitor like this so this is how the signal is fed across the combination r and c combination now you have to take the output across the capacitor so what is done here is you take a multimeter to measure the voltage across the capacitor it is to be set to measure ac voltage so this is the multimeter these are the ends of the multimeter and this these ends are to be connected across the capacitor here this is how the connection is made now the circuit is ready for action so i sum up again the signal is given across the combination and the output is taken across the capacitor now we have to set the voltage of the input now to proceed with the experiment initially the power supply is switched on like this frequency is set at 100 hertz and voltage is fixed at 1 volt so this gives the input voltage it is 1.0 to almost 1 volt it is so now i have fixed the input voltage to 1 volt now the signal is having frequency 100 hertz with voltage 1 volt i measure the output at this terminal it, it gives 1.01 means almost 1 volt which means for lower frequencies 100 hertz output you get 1 volt so that signal is passed through the circuit now what you have to do is you have to change the frequency to 200 hertz like this now the frequency of the signal is 200 hertz input is fixed at 1 volt almost 1 volt it is output is measured at this terminal it is 0.99 now a little bit low third rail 
frequency is changed to 300 input is fixed at 1 volt almost 1 volt it is output is measured here it is 0.97 fourth trial frequency is fixed at 400 hertz input is kept at exactly 1 volt output is measured here it is 0.99 now the frequency is changed to 500 hertz fix the voltage to input voltage to 1 volt measure the output voltage it is 0.95 so what you see in this experiment is that the experiment is repeated for a wide range of frequencies from 100 hertz to some 5 kilohertz so ultimately what you see is that output goes on decreasing and it will be very low at very high frequency this is how a low pass filter works thank you having enjoyed with the low pass filter circuit now we shall pass on to a high pass filter as it is already said a high pass filter is a circuit which allows only higher frequencies to pass through and it stops lower frequencies just to build up a high pass filter the technique is very simple what you have to do is you have to exchange the source terminals like this and the output is measured across the resistor unlike in low pass filter the multimeter terminals are taken black terminal is common terminal it is connected here the other terminal is for the measurement of input and output input is measured at the first terminal output is measured in the at the mid terminal like this now to proceed with the experiment initially the power is switched on frequency of the source is fixed at 100 hertz like this input is fixed at 1 volt and the output is measured here you see that it is only 0 0.06 volt now frequency is set at 200 hertz input almost 1 volt it is output is measured here it is 0 0.10 volt so this is how as you increase the frequency output voltage goes on increasing so you have to perform the experiment for a wide range of frequencies up to kilohertz and ultimately you get maximum output voltage nearly equal to 1 volt so this is how a high pass filter acts thank you once the experiment is over the frequency response curve of both the circuits is studied the first curve shows the frequency response of a low pass filter here the output is taken along y axis whereas the log of the frequency is taken on along x axis see initially for lower frequencies output is almost constant as the frequencies increase output goes on decreasing which confirms that the circuit acts as a low pass filter if you look at the second graph output is taken along y axis log of the frequency is taken along x axis see initially the output is low as the frequencies increase output goes on in increasing and it remains almost constant so these graphs reveal the action of these filter circuits perfectly thank you